Steve Rogers has a beard. That's crazy, right? You're right. <laughs> he, that was the that was the highlight of the movie, I think. I'm I'm quote unquote straight as an arrow, and he looked so good. Nah, <laughs> with the beard and the hair, it was ridiculous. Oh yeah. We're here to ruin movies for you. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's our job. Woo! Um, <laughs> hey, kids. Welcome to the video, um, which is mostly an audio in this case, because we're going to be reviewing kind of more of a first impressions thing. Um, mm -hmm. uh, me and John just got out of Avengers Infinity War um, like an hour and a half ago. Uh, ben saw it. Um, this morning, correct? Uh, like some ungodly hour, like nine thirty or something like that. Uh, disgusting. Eight twenty-five. Eight twenty-five. How in the shit? I don't. I, I Did was. You enjoy I was, anything? I was oh, still. I, I was still it, awake from yesterday at eight twenty-five. <laughs> what? I, I, Jesus. What you, anyway. So yes, this will be a, a spoiler-free chat about the qualities or lack thereof of Avengers: Infinity War. I think one of the the best words for it is unrelenting. Um, the the movie. <laughs> oh, that's good, actually. The movie does not uh, slow down and stop uh, and really let you catch your breath uh, very often. Um, you, and you feel kind of tired at the end of it uh, because of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I have a friend who said uh, at the end of it that she had a, a headache, a tension headache. Wow. Wow. Someone posted this on Twitter. Um, they, they, po they have an Apple Watch, and part of the Apple Watch is it monitors your heart rate. And if you've been motionless or like just at rest for more than 10 minutes and your heart spikes above 120 uh, beats per minute, it sends you an alert. Like, hey, there's something wrong here. <laughs> <laughs> and that happened in the middle of the movie for them. <laughs> Amazing. Um, and Unreal Inting is really a good word. They maximize every single second of this movie. This, this movie clocks in at uh, just about uh, two and a half hours, uh, give or take uh, a minute. The, and the only time it slows down, it's filling in character history for you to, to yeah. make things more enjoyable. This movie is very much a payoff for watching the previous 18 movies. Um, particularly, mm -hmm. obviously, the 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 most recent handful, but um, but th definitely this, you know, ob obviously the the characters in this movie go all the way back to Iron Man, uh, movie number one, and um, and this is definitely a, a payoff for that. Uh, I I feel like if you haven't if you haven't at least seen a handful of the movies, this may not be the time to see this movie yet. Uh, it, it's a it's it's <laughs> it's a very good it's a very good payoff. But I, I feel like the, you know you're like I said it's uh, unrelenting um, and and the number mm -hmm. of characters and actors in this is ridiculous. Um, you know, kind of I I feel like you know like. Uh, you know, it, back at the beginning of the century, like like Lord of the Rings, kind of had that it was like that high water mark for having like a really huge cast that a director was still able to make like a nice cohesive feel of you know a movie and 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 characters didn't feel like they were just be kind of like being left behind or or just there you know long enough to die for someone else and whatnot. You know, everything felt like you know felt really good and and this is even bigger. I feel yeah. uh, character wise, yeah. it's it, it's there. There's a lot there. So yeah, it, it's th this this is the payoff for 18 movies, and it's a good payoff. Let's not gloss over that. Ten years of a of a of a like a connected universe. That's crazy. Uh, unprecedented. I was going to say the, the difference here uh, with the uh, Lord of the Rings analogy was is that this is like you said it's a culmination of of all these movies so you have a movie now with more characters than say lord of the rings and they are all 100 percent established at this point yes. you've mm -hmm. seen that most of these people have had their own movies and all this other thing and so now you've got to fit all of those people into 
two hours and 40 minutes and uh, have it make sense and make sure that everybody's story is being told from, you know, the, co the collective story and their own stories and uh, done pretty, f pretty stinking phenomenally, I must yeah. say. You get a better feel uh, of Thanos, which is important because obviously he's just been the behind the scenes villain mm -hmm. for uh, the past uh, 10 years. He becomes more than just the behind the scenes kind of cardboard bad guy. Um, he he they wrote him uh, well. Uh, you you under you understand where he's coming from. The performance from him was good. From uh, Ben, what is the actor's name? Josh Brolin. Thank yep, you, Josh Brolin. Ha! Um, I knew things. <laughs> and you know, obviously he's he's a good actor, and I feel like his performance came through. And uh, you know, and his performance. Uh, came through and was also uh, aided and abetted by you know the the CGI you know artists and and the makeup artists. You you you, you did not feel, um, despite the fact that uh, the Titan Thanos um, is most certainly alien, you felt his uh, humanity uh, in, in the performance, uh, which was good. They said that uh, Thanos was going to be kind of like the star of the movie and they were not wrong like ben said all of these characters are established this was his movie that he he needed to be the star whether it was the the writers or uh, the directors uh, or a combination of them and the actors uh lots of times you uh, when when you see a uh, a character in another movie you know it it like they they don't quite speak the same the dialogue isn't written quite right and you know that type of thing whereas this you know if you saw Black Panther earlier this year Chadwick, uh, Chadwick Boseman as Black Panther still feels just like he did in the movie you saw earlier this year you know it wasn't like Chadwick Boseman saying words from another writer and it didn't feel quite right no it, the mm. the uh, he, you know, the sense of him was still correct. Uh, the the sense of the relationships between him and the people from the Black Panther, you know, arm of the Marvel universe still feel right, uh, which I think is really important. Um, you know, and it it felt it felt the same way for for Thor. If you saw Thor Ragnarok last year and whatnot, that's that's who you're getting as Thor in this movie. There are so many personalities and so many characters and so many people have just lived in that space for uh, like years, like I almost like some of them a decade, like a solid decade that it just, I'm sure it's almost like second nature to them. You have a lot of hyperbolic reviews every week when a new movie comes out and whatnot of, you know, Thrill ride, an experience. Um, <laughs> take your pick of whatever ridiculous phrases movie reviewers stick right. onto. You know, the sequel to Paddington. Throw Mama from the Train <laughs> or whatever. I I don't know. It, it's um, Just throw Mama from the Train. <laughs> and uh, that's for, that's that's for you, Ben. You ignore that because you've been alive for more than a couple of years. Uh, on the planet Earth, <laughs> um, but I really feel like we could apply those to this movie. It is definitely kind of uh, an experience. It it, it definitely it, you know yeah. it's a thrill ride. It kind of is because it's an experience. You know because yeah, it, it, that's it, it, really it, good. Yeah, I didn't and, appreciate yeah. that they added so many musical numbers. So I felt that was a bit out of place. Mm. Well, Ben, come on. This this is the future of, of Hollywood now. That you know that Disney is always first in line, so it's... Exactly. Yeah. You didn't know that the Russo Brothers did a few Bollywood films um, before that's, they... That's how they got their start in the business. Yeah, because, uh, Bollywood, man. Yep. I have a hard time uh, contributing without revealing anything. Mm. Yeah. Um, I will say, um, I think the movie... Um, I, I truly enjoyed it. I loved that they kept. I don't know if this this isn't a spoiler. I I love that they kept um, the humor. Yes. That has mm. been kind of ever ever uh, 
present. I don't ever present, but also it, it, I feel like every movie is more funny. Yes. Um, yeah. Uh, and especially for this movie, being uh, being what it is, the fact that they were able to have so much humor in it uh, is great. Was yeah. great. Um, and it makes you, it makes you it makes me want to watch it again and again. They made Thanos an amazing villain. They made him uh, relatable and uh, human, for for lack of a better term. <laughs> uh, they they made him. You you understood what why he was doing what he's doing, um, and. That's what you need. Yeah, that's what you need to know. Yeah. Uh, what people are fighting against, because um, it's not just it's not just violence and whatever. It's ideas and all this there other stuff. There is no so, mustache twirling. <laughs> although yeah. I would pay to hear Josh Brolin say, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming for you, you He-Man. Yeah. You exactly. can't stop me. Yeah. Captain America. Uh -huh. Yeah. I can't pay the rent. You must pay the rent. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. So uh, <laughs> that is our spoiler-free first impressions of Avengers Infinity War. Um, and ever as usual, like we, we, we YouTubers have to do, uh, like, subscribe, turn on the notification button, and uh, you, you dig our stuff enough share it on the social medias because uh that's right we, we we need all the help we can get and you can visit us on <laughs> various <laughs> social medias as well so um, remember uh is it everything's at pop popular geekery yeah basically yeah <laughs> <laughs> you put in popular geekery uh, you'll find us you can also go to start to I'm just exactly and uh follow at press start bfr as well um and and uh, also also very soon, uh, Capes, Cows, and Cookies. So we'll talk about that later. Uh, Capes, Cows, and Cookies dot com in uh, uh, eventually. So <laughs> yes, <laughs> the best romantic comedy ever. A thrill ride. You know, it's, mm, okay. A romantic thrill ride. I like that. <laughs> that is definitely this. <laughs> You've got mail. <laughs> I fear to go and experience. <laughs> Tom this Hanks' just... best performance since World War II, you know. <laughs> <laughs>